You know, one of my favorite pieces of movie trivia, and I'm sure you guys know the answer to this, do you know who the very first person to ever play the Predator was? No. Before he got yes, fired? Yes, I do. I know. You don't know? No. Van Damme, bro. Do you guys know who was the actual- Y'all claim Van Damme. Next. First guy that ever played the Predator, you, I'm assuming you know the answer. Well, you tell me. Jean-Claude Van Damme. Yep. And I read that he was fired because he kept wanting to add kickboxing. Yes, that's exactly, the movie. that's the well, story I heard He was too. pissed off. He's like, I'm in a pink suit running around. What the and hell I am I doing? Right. And, and not only that, but the, the pink suit was lame. It looked yes. so it looked stupid. So bad. It was like, the least the I should pictures? be able to do is be a kickboxer. It's so bad. I'm gonna look this yeah. stupid. I should yeah. be able to at least go, this is one Yeah, come on, just give me one. Just give me one. It looks ridiculous. It looks like 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 a suit from the 1920s scary movie or something like that. So he was afraid that that's what he was going to look like on camera, right? And he was really adamant on adding all yeah. of his. And he was like, I think the Predator, he comes from another planet where they learn how to oh, do all this kickbox. Oh, he was really trying yeah, to kickbox. He was yes. really trying yeah. to kickbox. So they ended up so not making him. it. With that in mind, if you could see any other iconic actor play the Predator, but play it in the way that they're known for playing their roles, who would you like to see play the Predator? Yeah. Will Chamberlain. Will yeah. Still. <laughs> but Will with no mask. Still. He's, 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 just Will yeah. Still, yeah. like... Gotcha. Got, gotcha. Yeah, yeah. Gotcha. I'm a slam dunk you back to the <laughs> <laughs> Hmm. Good question. Julie Roberts? Uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. You know her. She could probably pull that off, Julie I think. Robert, Meryl Streep. Oh, oh yeah, Mer she could play anything. She's right? so good that she would she wouldn't even need the suit. She could just like transform herself into the predator. <laughs> she could make it work. If you could pick any actor, any iconic actor in Hollywood to play the predator, who would you Walken. like? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. Can you give me your That's best cool. Christopher Walken as the oh, as the predator impression? Goodness. As a predator oh, impression? Yes. I'm goodness. not very good at impressions, man. Not with that um, attitude. <laughs> Um, I thought right. you were about to yeah. go into You gotta go, you gotta all go, right, you gotta right. go. Alright, alright, you ready? You ready? Yep. Mm -hmm. <sighs> wow, wowie wow, amazing. Amazing. That's that's amazing. amazing. That was good. That was good. Work that was that. Really Damn. good. That and was then good. the wows didn't work, and then wow. that amazing that's came good. out. Save it. Yeah, that's yeah. that amazing came uh, out. And he does that, and then he kills someone. And then he kills, <laughs> yeah, then he no, kills like, someone. Like the three little dots right, 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 on the right. right, and then he kills someone. Yeah. The camaraderie that all of you guys have on camera is fantastic. I'd imagine just talking with you guys off camera, it was just as good. But I'm curious about your relationship on set with the guy that actually plays the predator. Like, how do you have just a normal hanging out, asking about the game last night kind of conversation? with a guy that's got all of that man, in front he, of his face. Man, they're just really like buoyant people. Yeah, yeah, honestly. Yeah. I mean, he's just, a lovely guy. Mm. Canadians, you can't lose. Well, you can't lose. Go, yeah, Not a lot of guys could play that part. They were the absolute nicest people. So it was actually the opposite. Mm. Hanging out with them was easy. Hanging out with them when they had all the makeup on right. was easy. They're so nice that then you gotta go, okay, I gotta be scared of these yeah. guys right. as well. You it was know. a tough job for those yeah. guys. We had a lot of empathy for the and guys. A lot of, and a lot of admiration. they were great. You know, they yeah. went to predator school. They learned how to move the shoulders mm -hmm. and, the, and how to move, the, I would do the predator love to go moves. to predator school. Yeah. <laughs> oh my that God. could be a thing. So when they talk to you, is it weird to just have like, hear a normal <laughs> person's voice? <laughs> well, it's with so that. muffled, so they, they gotta take so, the so, Oh, so, so, yeah. then, so then you get a normal head, a human head, with a predator body. Exactly. And at a certain point, I'd imagine you just kind of, you just sort of forget about it. It's kind of normal. Yeah, it it's kind of normal. That's a weird thing and to then, think about. Yeah, but then they start acting, and then it ain't normal. And then it ain't normal no more. Because they can turn it like that. See, the That's most amazing thing is, how often do you meet a six foot ten parkour artist? Wow. Like this guy is so adroit and so physical and so flexible and, and nimble. Like a to ballet be, dancer. Yeah. To, well, we didn't really be able to get into conversations with him because he'd always be offset doing touches on his armor. Or in the front of a fan. Oh, right. because, because it's very so hot. hot. So they had their own cooling tank. Wow. We had our tent, and then the, the two predators had their own cooling tent. And we just be in there with fans, just oh. like, ugh. And he's sitting there, but you're, you're like, He's going to pass out. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I was telling you guys before we started rolling uh, how much the first movie m meant to me. My dad introduced yeah. me to it. And, and as a kid, I always used to wonder, like, what is Dutch doing? Like, what happened to Schwarzenegger's character after the events of the first one? So I'm curious, mm, yeah. during this one, no, we where do you think he is? We, we did not prepare for that. <laughs> <laughs> we, we weren't as a cast member sitting yeah. around with Shane going, no, where do you think where the Dutch came from? Dutch came from? Right, right. This is why is. I have this job, because these are the questions that keep me up at right, night. Right, these right, nerdy right. questions. I feel like Dutch, I feel like Dutch is, uh, um, I think that Dutch is, is, is running a little a little humidor, like running a little <laughs> cigar shop. You know, <laughs> in, like, you know, in, 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 in his retirement. In Miami, yeah, yeah, yeah. in his retirement, you know, he, just he smoking like, cigars. He, he like opens a paper, he sees what happened, he goes, no, and just and just shuts right, it. Right, right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, guys, thank you for making such a kick-ass movie that meant uh, a lot to me personally. Guys, you're so good. Right. Thanks, I really Jake, appreciate it. Really good to see you guys. Good see you. I'll see you. All right, guys, take care.